Hello friends and welcome to Math Simplified. In this video we will discuss about mitosis. In simple terms mitosis is a small phase in the whole process of cell cycle in which the nucleus of the cell divides into two. Before progressing any further make sure you have watched the videos on cell cycle on our channel as that video is key to understand the topics in this video link below. Before starting with the topic I would like to announce that we are launching the Math Simplified merchandise store on teespring.com. Support Math Simplified and get your favorite colors and designs on t-shirts, mugs, phone cases and much more. Visit the link in the description to check it out. Now as you know the cell cycle is divided into two main phases, the interphase or the M phase. Interphase is a time during which the cell grows and prepares for division and during the M phase the cell actually splits into two. The M phase is further divided into two phases, karyokinesis and cytokinesis. The word karyo means nucleus and the kinesis means movement. So karyokinesis is movement or splitting of the nucleus and cytokinesis means cell movement or splitting of the cytoplasm. The karyokinesis or the nuclear splitting is also known as mitosis. So I hope you understand the overview about what is mitosis. Now in this video we will study what are the important events that happen before the nucleus actually starts splitting. Then we will talk about one important structure in the cell that is very important for mitosis. And then we will study the steps of mitosis in detail. So let's first look at some of the important events that take place in the cell before the actual nucleus splitting. The cell starts splitting here in this red zone. First the nucleus splits and then the cytoplasm. Before the cell undergoes nuclear splitting it has already undergone through the interface which is highlighted in blue color which is the time the cell takes to prepare for division. The interface is further divided into three stages G1, S and G2 phase. During the G1 and G2 phase the cell gains nutrients, grows in size and function and makes more of cell organelles. Interesting things happen in the S phase. S phase or the synthesis phase is associated with synthesis of new DNA from already existing DNA or whole DNA is copied using special molecular machines in a complex process known as DNA replication. So this is a cell and here is its nucleus. Present inside the nucleus is its DNA which is folded like a long coiled noodle. If we take out this DNA it would look something like this. Now during the S phase the cell uses the process of DNA replication and forms an exact copy of this set of DNA. This DNA is later packed in the form of chromosomes and then equally divided in the two new nuclei. So the cell has synthesized a new set of DNA to be used later and has gone through the preparatory phase of interphase and is now ready for nuclear division. So these were the events that take place in the cell before the actual division. Next we will talk about one important structure inside the cell that is essential for proper splitting of the nucleus, the mitotic spindle. The mitotic spindle consists of centrosomes and microtubules which are the rope-like structures projecting from centrosomes. The word centrosome is often confused with the word centromere. This is a centromere, the part that you see in the center of a chromosome, which is different from centrosome, which is the structure here which helps in dividing the contents of nucleus into two. The functioning of the mitotic spindle can be compared to a lifting crane. The centrosomes can be compared to a motor and the microtubules are just like ropes which pull anything that is attached to them. If we look closely at the structure of the centrosome, we can see that it is made up of two centrioles which are cylindrical structures that are made up of the protein tubulin. During the S phase, the centrosomes also duplicate and the cell has two centrosomes now which migrate to the opposite ends of the cell. Microtubules are hollow tubes, 24 to 25 nanometers in diameter and they are also composed mainly of the protein tubulin. They are attached to a centrosome on one side and on the other side the microtubules attach to the centromere of the chromosome which we discussed earlier. Now if you look at this chromosome it is made up of four arms connected in the center to a centromere. This chromosome with four arms represents two chromosomes actually. The red part here represents the duplicated DNA which is yet attached to the parent DNA 
and in mitosis we break this duplicated chromosome from the center to get two new chromosomes and to break this chromosome equally the two microtubules from the opposite ends of the cell attach to one chromosome at its center or centromere when these microtubules pull this chromosome in opposite directions it breaks in the center to divide into two new chromosomes so these were some important things that you needed to know before we start discussing the actual process of mitosis now let's dive into how mitosis actually takes place the whole process of mitosis is divided into four simple stages prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase and the basic concept of each of them is condensation alignment splitting and nuclear membrane formation i will explain all this in a bit so first coming to the prophase the word that we used for it was condensation now what does that mean our dna is very long like 2344 kilometers long really so to fit all that in one tiny nucleus is a daunting task and to achieve this our nucleus packs the dna not in suitcases of course but it packs the dna around special structures in the nucleus like histones this can be compared to winding a woolen thread in a ball like manner which allows a really long thread to fit in a small place now this packing can be loose or tight depending upon what the cell wants to do at that time if the cell is living fine and doing its stuff the packing is loose so that the cell can read what's on the dna to form proteins and other stuff but during mitosis we need a tight packing because it is more stable and prevents dna damage when chromosomes divide in the cell this tight packing is known as condensation so the first thing that the cell does as it starts with the process of mitosis is to pack its dna into chromosomes so that it doesn't get damaged in the coming steps also the nucleolus disappears from the cell during this phase only so this was prophase next we have the metaphase the metaphase is actually divided into two phases a prometaphase and an actual metaphase now here is the cell after the prophase the chromosomes are present in the nucleus in prometaphase the membrane around the nucleus disappears it breaks up into small vesicles which are later used to make the nuclear membrane of newly formed nuclei due to this the chromosomes are now lying freely in the cytoplasm of the cell then comes the role of mitotic spindle the microtubules from the spindle attach to the centromere of the chromosomes and if you look closely you can see that two microtubules attach to one centromere each of these microtubules comes from the centrosome on the opposite end after the prometaphase we have an actual metaphase which we described with the word alignment The centrosomes now start to pull the chromosomes toward the opposite ends of the cell. The resulting tension causes the chromosomes to align along the metaphase plate or the equatorial plate. So this was arrangement, alignment or metaphase. Next we have the anaphase or the actual splitting. The centrosomes that act like motors start to pull on the ropes that are the microtubules. Now since the microtubules are exerting forces on the chromosomes the cohesins which are molecules that keep the duplicated arms of the chromosomes together are broken down this results in chromosomes being split in the center into two equal and new chromosomes the microtubules continue to pull the chromosomes and due to this one set of chromosomes reaches to one pole of the cell and the other set reaches the opposite pole both these sets of chromosomes are exactly the same The next phase is the telophase which is nothing special but formation of new nuclear membrane around the two sets of chromosomes these two sets of chromosomes are equal and exactly alike this leads to formation of two completely new nuclei which are exact copy of each other with this mitosis is complete and each daughter cell has an identical set of chromosomes After mitosis the cell undergoes cytokinesis which is not a phase of mitosis but rather a separate process necessary for completing cell division In cytokinesis the cell also divides its cytoplasm and cell organelles and then splits in the center to form two completely new cells 
With this, the cell cycle is completed and when required, these two daughter cells undergo this whole cell cycle again to make more new cells. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video and all the other free educational videos on this channel helpful, you can now support Math Simplified on Patreon.com for literally the price of a coffee cup. This will allow me to fund my work and make more videos like this and will also unlock some cool Patreon only exclusive content like behind the scenes of these videos, upcoming videos, early notifications and exclusive flashcards and handouts. Make sure to subscribe us on YouTube for all the upcoming videos and also make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for flashcards, notifications and much more.